Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. The area, we're going to send a unit out, two units to get rid of the girls that are out there working now, and we'll be putting out our own officers. We'll be putting out Brenda, Doris, and Mary Gail uh, on those corners. Uh, we'll have uh, we'll have surveillance of those of those girls at all times, along with the PC cover units. Uh, what we want to do is. Uh, once they get the commitment uh, of what they want, uh, we'll give the signal to the unit to take them down. All right? uh, Timmy uh, will have the assignments and uh, where people will be located. And the girls have their instructions as far as uh, what they can say, what they can't say. Uh, Tim? One of our concerns is that they see these different girls out there. They don't come over, bring any violence to our girls. So uh, we're going to keep an eye on that. Everybody listen up. Pay attention. You know, if anything looks hinky, we'll give it to you right away. The girls, they're mic'd. We'll be able to hear them. If they're in trouble, you know, just verbalize it. If, uh, as a backup to that, just put your hands up if, if you feel threatened in any way. Back off a little. As soon as we see those hands go up, you know, we'll send the PC in it, and we'll be right across the street in the van. All right? A uh, couple things, you know, not to get into the car, obviously. They might get hinked up. They might see a cop take off, so don't walk in front of the cars, anything like that. All right, guys, be careful out there, girls. Be careful out there. All right, let's go. All right, now, Brenda. This area we're working tonight, it's, a, uh, it's part of the PCP grant area. The problem right here, uh, for the most part, is uh, a prostitution problem. We have a reversal to, uh, you know, lock up some of the Johns, and that way we get the word out to these Johns that uh, when they're soliciting these prostitutes, they might actually be uh, soliciting an undercover cop rather than a uh, call girl. All right, here we go. A red geo prism. All right, stand by, guys. Uh, red geo prism looking. Stand by. Hey, baby. What's going on? Hello. That's your choice. What do you need? I'm sorry? OK. Um, but which ones do you want? What else? Oh, which Who do you, yeah. There's, there's three of us. OK, that's 25. OK? Um, yeah, because there's just too many cops been in the area. All right, guys, it's going to so be a go. Let me, I'll stand by until I tell you which way it's going. Right around the corner here. And Watch back. And I'll meet you there. All right. Uh, he's going to pull up on Cornelius, and uh, you guys can move in. Uh, we just received the transmission from one of our sergeant right staff. The corner, the, uh, one of the Johns just solicited one of our undercovers. It's and a geo prison. Yeah? Right off on the uh, right over here. Hold on, we got to push him down. Stop. Shut the car off, champ. Shut the car off. Yeah, shut the car off. Step out of the vehicle. You have anything on you ain't supposed to have? Hello, what? You have anything on you ain't supposed to have? No, I didn't do that. Right. Hands behind your back. Hey, uh, no? Okay. You talk to those girls over there? No. No, you aren't? No, you didn't say anything to those no, girls? No, I just say hi, how are you? So oh, they say, you're just a no. friendly guy? No, I just, uh, uh, just uh, gonna turn around. That's how old are you? I'm uh, 22. You're 22? Yeah. You married? No. We got, got a girlfriend? No. You got a death wish? What do you mean? I don't, uh, I don't understand. You just propositioned a female cop. You're under arrest, yeah, soliciting prostitution. Okay? I didn't do anything about it. Turn around. I don't have anything in my pockets, just no right. bother in it. Who's going to take the car then? Like, we'll take the car then. Rick, uh, you want to switch cuffs or not? No. No? Yeah, I didn't do anything. Yeah, we don't know how it's coming. Yeah, that's correct. Once your PC team makes the arrest, the second PC team will pull it on summit. 
You're under arrest for soliciting prostitution. But that girl you were speaking to yeah. is a female police officer, okay? Yeah. The morning was set up 10 minutes and a uh, guy pulls up. Uh, this is a hot area for prostitution, so he. You know, there was no fooling around. He just went right for it, told the girl exactly what he wanted. He wanted uh, oral sex, that he wanted full sex, $10 for oral sex, $25 for the full thing. And uh, the takedown went nice and smooth, so. This should be a, a busy night here. You looking for sex? 20. Okay, well, I'm not gonna get in right here because a lot of cops have been in the Car area. Up for Lincoln. So, Stand can by. you? Great I'll Lincoln. walk down towards the gas station, the gas station right there, and I'll meet you there, okay? Sure. All right. That's gonna be one male. Little Lincoln. Going south towards Snoko. Little Lincoln. Where is he, Sarge? Be in the area. We're gonna try to pull it over. It's a Blue Lincoln Town Car. It's heading south from the Sunoco, uh, from Summit and Grand. So many uh, people out here today. Well, this is the vehicle we got pulled over. Chair, put your hands on the car. Put your hands on the put your car. Hands on the car. Vehicle stop. Put your hands on the car. What are you doing out here, buddy? What are you doing around here? I'm, I'm a taxi driver. Well, you're being arrested for soliciting a prostitute. That was an undercover police officer, all right? Sorry? You just solicited an undercover female police officer prostitution. They tried to stop me. They tried to stop you? Don't you think of your family when you're out here picking up girls? The disease that's out here? We're going to take your car down to the station with you, all right? Sarge, so, uh, vehicle uh, stopped, active in custody. Augie and Ty uh, are taking them down to BCI. Um, Seems to be a very busy night tonight. Work with Dave is, uh, has been a real pleasure. It makes things a lot easier knowing that, you know, knowing that I can trust him, he trusts me. Both of us uh, know each other's reactions and uh, what we're about to do, what we're thinking. So. By just giving each other looks, we can uh, pretty much assess the situation and uh, get a feel for what we're about to do. I really don't have to talk to him before I react to something because I basically know what he's going to do. And we're pretty much on the same wavelength with everything we react to, but not too much where there's still, there's still some diversity where, hey, we might argue over something, but that's good because that shows we're both thinking. I uh, responded to an assault call. We're not sure if it's uh, who's involved or how long it's been going on, we just got the call now. So it's all the information we have, an assault. Should be on the outside. Tell me where we are. 197. Little more. Yeah, TF-5-6, we're going off. Oh, all right. At least 103, it's uh, on the way. You OK? My daughter just got jumped by three black girls. That uh, lady down the block, she's about 30 years old. She's a dope fiend. Everything started 
in like about four months ago. Everything started four months ago with her other little daughter that she sent away to Florida. Everything was left alone. She keeps disrespecting my kids every time she comes around my house and wherever she sees them, okay. calling them names. I spoke to her like two adults. According to neighbors, she had came the other day with some girls from Martin Luther King. My daughter just came in the house, asked me for a dollar to go to the store. When she came outside, they jumped her right in front of the house. Where's your daughter? My daughter, she went to her cousin's house, upset to go get her, uh, her cousin. That's right. how everything. Here's and this lady is not even worth talking to. I mean, she's a drug addict. She's never home. Her kids are always wandering in the streets. You ever sign a complaint against her? I'm tired. I called the cops before, and it seems not to help. And I don't want to take it in my own hands, because you do trust me, God. Those are my kids. I, I love my kids. I will go to jail. Uh, you, you, I'm not tired. saying that you take it into your own hands. Her name is Rosalie. Is Montgomery? All right, we're going to see if we can locate her. Now, you're positive she is off your daughter. Yes, she did. All right, is your daughter coming back here? Yes, she is. is there All right. Yeah. All right. We don't know if it's a simple assault, if it's an aggravated assault, or what it is. So the best thing we could do now is locate this alleged actor, ask her if she wants to come back to the scene so we can figure this out, or at least have the victim's mother identify her as the definite assailant, and then we'll take her from there. Right now, we're going to see if we can find her before she disappears. I think we located this actor, the alleged actor. We got a walking down here with a baby carriage. How are you doing? They, yeah, they're here. All Thank right. you. Thank you. All right, Rosalie, what's yes. going on here? Yes, the lady harassed me in front of my kids. All right. I have a witness. She said to watch my kids back. Right. She claims three black girls went to her house trying to jump her daughter. I don't know what's going on. She says you jumped her daughter. Oh, my God. All right. Stand You tight. can ask my brother. My brother, are we just come out my house. All right. Here's what we're going to ask you to do. You can do this voluntarily. Do you want to go back to the scene and we're going to settle this? Because it doesn't help with her telling one thing and you're taking yes. off. It doesn't look good for you. No, we the reason why I took off my brother to avoid it, to walk away and call the cops once you walk away. Well, the problem is she, she called the cops and everybody. you didn't, right? She comes up, oh, what's this, that three black girls this came to my daughter? house? No, the mother. The mother? Three black girls came to my house and tried to jump my daughter. They said that you got them to jump her. I said, what girl? I just came out of my house. She goes, oh, oh, you better watch your kids. Your kids better watch their back. That's all I'm telling you. I'm warning you. In front of all the kids. And a lady with short blonde hair. We got to see her daughter and find out exactly what happened. That's going to be the end. If we can't locate the daughter, we're going to make that a report, and she's going to be advised to sign a complaint against you if she wants. Right now. And I want to put a complaint on her, right. too. That's fine. And this guy that I was talking to, he was with me home all day, too. Where's your daughter? Right here, right here. Now, who exactly hit you? They told me she sent them. Do you have any injuries? Told them to come over? No, no injuries. You don't want to go to the hospital or anything? No. All right. This is, this we're going to make that a report, all right? You're going to sign. This is what you're going to do if you want to do something about this. you got to sign a complaint and go to court on it. The problem is, problem is you're telling, you told us that she did it, and now she's no, saying No, 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 no. You got my story. I said that she sent the black girls because they already warned me on Sunday about this because we had a dispute about my other little daughter. This wasn't even meant for her. This was meant for my 12-year-old. Right, let me go explain to Rosalie. Where's she at? She's gone. Yeah, there's no one. It's Charles and Angie. All right. I'm going to walk you down to your house. I'm going to get your information. I'm going to do a report. You're not, you're not going to be arrested. She is going to press charges on you. All right. Stay on this side of the street. Stay on this side of the street. I'll walk you down the block. You can ask this little kid, right. this little kid that she threatened. Right. Unless, you want, unless you want to turn this to you. All right. All right. They you All right. Come on. I'm pressing charges on All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, walk down the block like a lady. Don't embarrass yourself in front of all these people. You see, you see? All right, just go. You can make, you sign a complaint just like they did. If she can't learn to walk by your house without saying, making comments to you or your daughter, then you're going to have to go through the court, you're going to have to file charges, and then she's going to get locked up. And if she doesn't learn a lesson by then, that's just more jail time for her. You know what I mean? 
I'm assigned to Zone 5, and our main purpose is to uh, get involved with the community, find out what their problems are, find out where the drug locations are, find out just pretty much any complaint that they have. Uh, our main purpose here is not really to answer calls, though we do answer many, many calls a night, but our main purpose is to actually get interact with the community, go to meetings, go to block association meetings, find out what the problems are. They have your name, they can speak to you at any time, they can give you a call. Uh, if they have your phone number at the, the, the district, they'll give you a call, they'll ask for you specifically. It's right up the block, a couple of blocks up. Just got dispatched uh, Kennedy Boulevard, man being assaulted by a bat. Uh, unsure how many actors. We should be off. Uh, it's close. We'll be off soon. Let's see what we got here. This is probably the actor here. Okay, NTF5, we're gonna be off at this Kennedy Boulevard incident. We'll give you something in a minute. Oh man. That's all. Oh, Come over here. All I was going to I need to break in the map house. Stay right there, my man. What's going on? What's going on, bro? Tell me what's going on. What do you got? No, he hurt me. Stay right there. What's going on? Please. Tell me what's going on. Okay, all I was doing was getting on top of him. What the hell? Let me try to hold him. This guy, he got me. All I was trying to do was get the copper. That's all he said. I tried to break it himself. Right That's copper. Look at me. Look at me. Right That's copper and aluminum. Okay, Let's go. Look at this. He tried to kill me. He 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 tried to kill one. Move your hand. Keep your hand. Back, back up. Back up. Back up. Man. Man. <laughs> Stay right there, but man. I didn't break it in the window. I was getting the top up. I broke it to your window? Yes, and my, I don't know from where now. Okay, and to your father, that's going to be one actor under arrest. So. And my wife, she called me. I'm sleeping. Okay. I work in Bloomin. Look at this, my tools. And when I go outside, I see this guy in my apartment. Outside, he go to outside. I say, listen, what do you want? Okay. And he take a one tool for hit me in my hand. You okay? You, yeah. you need medical attention? Yeah. And this guy, this guy, he hold it. Sorry, would you like an ambulance right now? No, no, it's okay. You okay with that? Sure. All right. It's okay. And this guy, he hit yeah, me there. Sorry, sorry, you, you are blue. George, I'm going to go talk. Would you like medical attention? Well, this is the actor we just uh, caught for uh, breaking an entry into the man's apartment, trying to steal some stuff in there. And obviously, the victim uh, started retaliating since he did break into the apartment. And uh, that was the call we got. The uh, man being beat up by a bat. It was probably the uh, the victim beating him up for breaking into the apartment, trying to rob him. So. Excuse me. No, he hasn't been padded yet. So. You got anything on you that's going to stick me? Oh, oh. You got anything on you that's going to stick me? I'm going to go with him and check the apartment. Titus, where's your vehicle? Oh, that's right this here. is it right here? All right. <laughs> no, nah, well, we'll come to you later. All right. To conduct another search. All right, uh, you got his ID? All right, um, what, what were you doing in there? What were you I doing here? I was just getting the copper. I saw copper. From where? From right out the basement. I didn't break From right anything. out the basement? Well, yes. what, were you breaking pipes or something no, down there? No, it's little stuff. You can look in the car and see it's yeah, little no. stuff. Yeah, I know. Well, that's illegal anyway. You're not supposed to be doing that. You know, you don't belong in the building. There's probably signs up for no no trespassing and stuff like that, only for residents. You understand? So you're, you're going to be charged with several things. All right? We're going to go inside and see what actually uh, happened here. Thank you.
Oh, y'all won't go down. It, it's in here, right? Yeah, he lay down here. Oh, it's down through. The, the guy, oh, sh All right, um, you can see some, some stuff. He was probably trying to run out after the guy started chasing him. Please. Thank you, I find the guy outside, you know, in the hallway. Right. But he take something to my tools when he pushed me, you see, but... Okay, I was thought you were like, aware that the... Like big knife, something, no knife, no real knife. That's I mix a plaster like this. Right. And he, you know, he tried to kill me. You know, when I go by, take a two-by-four in my hand, when he see I take my the two by four in my hand, right. he go he try to go outside. Try to run. You know, and he called and the lot of people were there, he killed me, he killed me. Right. You know, right. another guy he come to me, you know, I said, listen, no, I'm super to the building. This guy he broke my house. Right, right. And right. one guy he hold, you know, another call the police. Okay, where'd he break in through, did you know? He, right into he broke in the window. He cut the he the 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 uh, well, you want to see how we broke in. You got, but this is way broke in. It. Yeah, I understand, but you'll get the fence and the window broken at the same time. Oh, yeah. oh, watch out. We don't have much time. We don't have much when, film left. He so said this, this, this been there already. I mean, they broke. This is the third time they break into the, this basement in the past few yeah, weeks. Like he tried to patch it before, so this was uh, probably there already. It's amazing yeah, how they fit into help. such a little hole that big. <laughs> See why he's sweating with the top down there. Yeah, when a criminal wants something, he'll get in, oh, he'll get in through just about anywhere. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get a 2514, 10 transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3. 